Hello YouTube, this is Crazy Cool New Yorker coming at you today. Well, I got a little exciting day today. I'm for the Harley Demo Test Ride and I'm going to be riding the uh, Road King. Um, I actually just started, I just test rode the uh, CBO and unfortunately um, I didn't realize my camera wasn't on so I didn't get the footage that I did, but I'm going to try to retest the CBO model or a different model and see what we can do. But my next bike that I'm going to test ride is the Road King. Now the Road King is like my bike and it's this green boy back right here. So I'm going to hop on it. I got to familiarize myself with it. I had a little problem on the Road King. So we're going to, uh, I don't want no hiccups on this one. So we're going to make sure this one goes across without any problems. So as you can see, this is like the uh, green with a black pinstripe. Well, not a black pinstripe, but more of a black thing. Now, let me go to the Road King real quick. What I did not like is the Ford board. Decent size, but see when you have the heel shift, it puts my foot into a, a tight little pocket. And I don't like that because I'm not able to move my foot around. That's why I didn't get it. So, you know, if you have big feet like me, you want as much freedom as possible. So that's why I didn't put the heel toe um, shifter on my bike. But the Road King has it as well. I was using the uh, front toe for, with the Street Glide, but I may try it with this one. I'm not sure. The ride on the Street Glide was a little hard, but nice. The sitting position was good as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for them to say load us up and then I'm going to uh, jump on the uh, street glider and I think what I'm going to do is test ride this bad boy right here too I don't know what this is but I'm going to test ride it to see what it is oh, I number the 110 let's see what, what is this hmm I'm not sure, but I'm going to find out. I want to test ride to see what it's like. Let's see. So this is me. All right. So instructions were given. Heading for the Road King now. It's looking good. Now that I know how to start the Harley Davidson, I shouldn't have a problem. Oh, it's a big bike, people. It's a big bike.
ask you to back up so he can get out. If you back up, he can get out. Okay. So, a lot of vibration. I see it has a gear indicator. It shows that I'm in neutral, which is a good thing. Now, unlike the uh, street glide, uh, the speedometer is down in the tank. That's what makes it a special uh, a cruiser style. My bike is a cruiser too, but it's a bagger. So the speedometer is up by the windshield. You can go in front. Stalled the bike up. Got to get used to my road key. Let's put it in neutral. See how hard it is to find neutral. a lot of vibrations you can see my hands moving on this a lot of vibrations but it's not annoying but there is some vibrations in the handlebars good sound though I like the sound Ah, you can feel the vibration going on. Got to give a gas. It's not like my glass, uh, my victory, where I'm able to easily let the clutch out and not give a gas. This one, you got to rev it up a little and then uh, bring it up. It's all right. I don't mind. Now, as you can see, the seat, I'm being pushed up towards the tank. That's one of the reasons why I didn't buy it, but still a great bike. Seat's a little too hard for me, but it's comfortable. Still very nice. Let's see here. And we're off. Okay, excuse me, sir. I don't want to get you. All right. So, now that we're on the road, King, we're in a line here. We got to wait till we come out the parking lot. Okay. You know, I should, uh, I should have learned where my signals are. <laughs> I don't know where the signals are on this bike. That's a shame. I see it does have cruise control. Let's see here. Oops. No, this does not have a gear indicator. We went first gear, so it's all right. Has the big foot brake. That's pretty convenient. But I feel tight. I'm not bashing the bike. I, I do feel a little tight up on I feel a little cramped. All right, and we're off. Now, this isn't a long ride. It's kind of a, a nice little straight road with a couple of turns, but you're not really going through the twisties they're kind of taking us down shore road and then bringing us right back now i will say off the bat this bike is very smooth very smooth now it's not too bumpy on the road but you can just tell it it, it soaks it up nicely 
you know, there's a few bumps that I did hit. It was kind of good. There's some bumps. That 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 wasn't too bad. The street glide, because it's much more of a, I guess a, uh, you know, street sports bike almost. You know, you feel a little bit more of the road, so it's kind of like a road bike, like you know they say a car is a uh, a car of the road. It feels the bumps and stuff like like that, but this is okay. Man, I really do wish I knew where my signal was. <laughs> I do. <laughs> this is a shame. All right. Hmm. Lights, horn. I don't know what that's for. Oh, okay. That's my signal. Whoa. All right. So now that's what the buttons are down there for. That's your signal. So now I know where the signals are. Uh, YouTube, Crazy Crew New York has figured it out. I feel so silly right now. The arrow is pointing left and right of the signals. That's so simple, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but the bike, the vibration, I can see what they're saying with the uh, Harley vibration. It's kind of like the trademark. But it's not annoying. You know, it's not like uh, teeth uh, jarring. So, let's just see. so not used to the bike so I gotta get myself used to it staying in formation good sounding pipes I do like the sound of these pipes very nice couple of bumps there pretty decent I think because I'm in the city it's not a really good a good um, demo ride because of unfortunately it can't take us to the back twisty but I will say this this bike has some pull you can see me being pulled back a little I gotta get used to the throttle unfortunately we won't be able to open it up the first demo ride kind of kept us at the speed limit of a uh, 30 miles an hour so it's basically just to give you a sample of the bike nice it's okay I think I'm going to jump on the smaller bikes next to see what those are about because uh, when I rode the Victory Octane it was a much smaller bike now, as I'm riding this, it's not heavy. I don't know, I, I, I claim that I felt it was top heavy before, and I don't feel that anymore. It feels nice, but I feel like I'm sitting on the tank. I feel like my body is being pushed up to the tank. My knees are, as you can see, my knees are kind of high up on the tank here. But still a good riding bike. I guess because, you know, I have long legs. That's why I felt a little uncomfortable. But I am getting used to the seating position pretty quickly. This is pretty nice. Took that turn kind of nice as well. Like I said, we really can't do too much. So I'm kind of hanging back because they don't want nobody rubber banding. So we're all spaced out. This is a good bike that you can go on a demo, uh, uh, take a nice little trip on. Now I'm going to go smaller, but I'm going to look at the bigger bikes as well. But still very nice. Letting the bike breathe a little.
this Road King has a great sound to it. I wonder if this is the standard pipes on the bike. Good wind blockage too. I don't feel the wind buffeting that I felt. I don't feel the wind buffeting that I felt on my uh, Victory. Oh, we're coming to the turn. So I'm kind of curious to on the open highway, do you need to put the lower wind deflectors on? Which I don't think you do. I really don't think you do. Now what we're doing is we're going on a circle and we're going to take this right on back. <laughs> Trying to roll on just to fill that power. It's smooth. You can hear the clunk, like my clutch, but you know what, I think I'm going to go quiet and let you feel the rest of the way. I did enough talking. bike in front of me is really nice. I think I want to test drive that. Now that this rush uh, test ride is almost coming to an end, my conclusions, my thoughts on the bike. 
I think it's a good bike, but it's not for me. I feel tight on the bike. Now, I know a lot of people will argue against me. That's just me, you know? I just feel tight. I, I've gotten so used to my bike that I don't feel for this bike anymore. I felt that much. I wonder how this would feel on the highway. Unfortunately, can't tell. It has a uh, the vibrations on this smooths out when it's moving, so you lose all that vibration. It it has the classic hardly shake, and then it smooths out to a very nice cruiser. Now I'm not giving this bike any justice for my review here I'm still trying to uh, get used to it but it is a good bike I don't to think that My review on this is not going to be what everybody wants it to be. I'm not talking and I'm not giving the full beautiful details of the bike. I do apologize for that. But I will say it is a good bike to own. It is a good bike to ride. I feel comfortable on it. Now the Street Glide, I actually like the feeling of the Street Glide a little bit more. So. I gotta see. I gotta see if I can get back on the uh, CBO version. I think it's the same group of people I've been riding with that are doing the test ride. 